Oh, that is so delicious. Right now, I'm drinking some Faze Bay, for those who might be wondering. And I do want to let you guys know that my code, Code Butters, is 30% off for a limited time. So if you guys want to stock up on some G Fuel, I highly recommend it. You don't have to, by any means. You never have to, but it'd be cool if you did. Okay, let's get into the video. <laughs> It's Butters, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day full of positivity and happiness as always. It's my new intro I've been sticking with for a little bit and I kind of like it. I don't know what you guys think, but you know, starting off videos right with positivity and happiness. Wee! So today I wanted to do a story time video with just my face cam. You guys seem to enjoy the last one, so I said, okay, let's just... That's exactly what my thought process was. Wow, I'm already getting a really good start off on that. What am I? I can't even English. Okay. Okay. You guys seem to really like the last story time video that I did with just my face cam, so I'm doing it again. Okay, here we go. English, Hannah. Also, I'm using a new tripod. In my last video, I had this little rinky-dink tripod that I was using, but now I'm using a full-fledged nice tripod, so let me know how it looks. So for today's video, I thought I would go ahead and tell the story about the one time that I was classified as a, you know, classic girl gamer, grill gamer, whatever you want to call it, in person, in real life. Because let's be real, it happens all the time when I'm playing online, like, oh my god, you're a girl, you must suck because you're a girl. Like, yeah, whatever, that doesn't count. That's just a friendly banter, but this is a time where somebody legitimately thought that I was a girl gamer in person. And this situation also got my sister involved too, which I also found very funny. But let's go ahead and get into the story. First of all, I want to preface this by saying I'm not insulted if you call me a girl gamer. I mean, I think that I'm just a gamer. But at the end of the day, I am a girl and I am a gamer. So like, I get it. It's cool. However, I will refer to myself as a gamer because that's just how I've grown up. And for those who are wondering, well, what's a girl gamer? What are you talking about? Well, a girl gamer is somebody who, uh, who isn't very well versed in video games and they do it for attention, I guess? Or at least that's how a lot of people look at the definition of a girl gamer. But anyways, story time. Okay, here we go. So at my college, there is a LAN event that I love to not only go to, but also be a part of and run. It's called Tech LAN. It occurs at Georgia Southern University and we all get together from, I think, 6 o'clock p.m. to 2 a.m. and we just play video games the entire night. It's one of those events that I hold very dear to my heart because I've been going to it ever since 2013, but I've been running it ever since probably 2015. 15? But this girl gamer classification occurred around 2015, I'm pretty sure, and my sister was there as well. Also, another fun fact for you guys, not only do I run these events, but I'm also the president of the gaming club at my college, so, you know, I'm very well versed in the gaming realm that is on college campus. I know all the nerds, I know what all the nerds are playing, I am fully well versed in the nerd universe that is here. I communicate with gamers and nerds on a daily basis. Point, point is, point is, I live and breathe gaming. So, I was at this college event, and at this college event, there's a bunch of of lab computers that are lined up and people are playing different games on them. I like to go down each row and just kind of make small talk with some people just to, you know, talk, figure out what people like, figure out what we should make for the next tech land. And also it's really fun to get to know all the nerds, especially those I don't recognize. If I see nerds that are not a part of my club, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna talk to you. Hey, how you doing? So at this specific tech land event, I was walking around talking to people and my sister was sitting down in the midst of all the nerds, in the midst of the cloud of nerds and she was playing League of Legends. So I see this group of guys in the corner that I've never seen before in a tech land. So I said, okay, I'm gonna talk to y'all. So I make my way over and I look at the PCs and they are all playing Legends. Left 4 Dead 2, which is one of my favorite games of all time. I think it was four of them playing the game, and I think two of their friends just spectating, just watching them behind them. So I walk over and I say, oh my gosh, you guys are playing Left 4 Dead 2, that game's amazing. And one of the dudes looks at me, I'm going to name him, oh, what should we name him? We're gonna name him Jake for this story. So Jake turns around, looks all flabbergasted, and goes, wow, I'm surprised you know what game this is. Why? Like, it's it's not hard to identify a game, but okay, that's fine. So I said, yeah, this is Left 4 Dead 2. This was my first multiplayer game that I really got into. My favorite campaign was Hard Rain because it had all the witches and you could crown them with the shotguns. It was so much fun. I, like, I got super nerdy talking to them. And this guy just was completely caught out of left field and said, Wow, I didn't know girls played games to the point where they actually know about the individual campaigns and mechanics. I'm like, dude, um, have you left your room? I mean, <laughs> I kind of brushed off any sort of comments he made about my gender because obviously I didn't really care. I just wanted to nerd out and talk to people. But even his friend and his friends who were playing the game like turned around and said, yeah, yeah, it's crazy to see a girl actually know about video games. I'm like, 
Okay, well, little do you know I'm actually running this entire event that you're playing these games at, but okay, no, it's fine. So I started making more casual conversation with them, like, hey, what kind of games do you guys like to play besides Left 4 Dead 2? And Jake said, oh, I like to play League of Legends a lot. I love League of Legends. I'm like, dude, League of Legends is sick. I don't really play it that much, but I'm glad that you like it because there's a lot of League of Legends here at this event. And then for some reason, he decided to comment on my gender again and saying, yeah, um, there aren't really many girls playing League of Legends here. I'm like, I mean, I guess that's an observation you're making. I mean, okay, I don't really care, but okay. Oh, but here comes the funny part. So he followed up that statement by saying, yeah, normally girl gamers are playing this game. Like, you see you see that girl over there? Over there in the middle over there with the blue headset on? You can just tell she's a girl gamer. And I already knew in the back of my mind that he is definitely talking about my sister. And let me tell you right now, y'all, she is not the, the stereotypical girl gamer. She's the complete opposite. She plays games for fun. She she doesn't care about this girl gamer stereotype at all, so I thought it was the funniest thing that I just knew he was talking about my sister. So I turn around and go, oh, you mean that girl on like the third row is like, yeah, yeah, you could definitely tell she's a girl gamer. You could just tell that she's here for the attention. I, I just, I, you know, it really flabbergasted me because my sister had her headset on. She wasn't speaking to anybody. She just wanted to play the game. She wasn't there for attention at all. I'm like, dude, you're crazy. What are you talking about? So since I had enough of his shenanigans of using the word girl over and over and every Every single sentence and every single time I was talking to him, I decided to say, yeah, that's my sister. Let's go talk to her. And he went all wide eyed on me and went, oh, that's your, that's your sister. And his friends turned around and were like, oh, dude, dude, not cool. <laughs> like, yeah, dude, let, let's go, let's go talk to her. Why don't you tell her how you think she looks like a girl gamer? Let's, let's have a nice little chat about it. He's like, no, 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 let's, I don't want to. He's like putting on the brakes. He's like, nope. I don't want to do that. So I'm like, come on, it'll be fun. Come on, let's go, let's go talk to her since you really seem to really, really idolize this girl, whatever, whatever. You seem to have an obsession with girls. So let's go talk to another one, shall we? And this dude said, uh, no, nah, no, nah, I'm good. I, I gotta, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm like, okay, have fun. I'll be here if you ever want to talk to her. I'll even introduce y'all if you want. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. I'm like, okay, yeah, that, that's, that's your escape car. I know you're trying to escape. It's cool. Bye, honey. So when he walked out of the room, his friend friends looked at each other like oh no one of them even apologized and said sorry our friends just always like this he doesn't get out of his apartment i'm like oh really i couldn't tell i tr I couldn't tell at all. But I told them, no harm, no foul, it's all good, but I'm gonna go tell my sister about this and she's going to laugh her head off. So I went to go talk to my sister. I'm like, yo, Haley, yo, Haley. I'm poking her shoulder because she's got the headset. I'm like, yo, Haley. She takes off her headset like, what, can I help you? I'm like, Haley, I got the funniest story for you. So somebody just called you a girl gamer from across the room because you're a girl in a gaming environment. And she stopped and said, wait, what? So somebody called me a girl gamer because I'm playing video games in a room with people. I'm like, yeah, so, so somebody thinks you're the girl gamer stereotype. <laughs> and she stood up immediately and goes, who was it? And her standing up isn't very intimidating at all because she's not even five foot, but I'm like, chill, Haley, it's, it's all good. She's like, no, nah, who was it? I wanna know. And I point to the corner where all his friends were. I'm like, well, he went to the bathroom, but his friends are over there in the corner and you can see his friends go. <laughs> they tried to cover their face. Oh my god. It was so priceless. Granted, they didn't make the comments themselves, but they were agreeing with them. So I'm like, oh, you guys are in the same boat, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna point y'all out. I even gave them a nice little wave. I'm like, hello. And my sister said, do they even know that you're running this event? I said, nope. I don't need to tell them. I don't need to tell them that I'm the reason they're playing those games on that PC right now. It's- they don't need to know. It's cool. And needless to say, I'm pretty sure that this Jake individual never made it to another Techland ever again. I looked out for him for the next two years, never found him. What happened, Jake? What- what happened? Did- did- did we scare you off? Are the girls too scary? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be that scary. <laughs> But that is the story of how I was stereotyped as the classic girl gamer doing it for attention, doing it because it's cool, doing it because your brother plays video games. I don't know. This, this, you, you guys know the girl gamer stereotype I'm talking about. And my sister got roped into it as well, which was extremely hilarious because she is the total opposite of girl gamer stereotype. I just, it was a great time, y'all. That was a really funny event. Now, I will say, I'm pretty sure I saw Jake on campus at one point. I think I saw him walking on the pedestrian, but I'm not 100% sure. All I know is that I looked into his direction and he seemed to quickly glance away. I don't know if that means it was him or not, or if he remembered me or anything, but... 
I don't know, that was worth noting. Maybe it was him. I don't know. But just to clarify, this whole girl gamer stereotype doesn't really bother me at all. I've been told that I'm a girl gamer ever since I was like, what, 14? So it literally just shoom, goes right over my head because I don't give a damn. I will say having it happen to me in person was really interesting. Um, I, I've never really been defined by my gender that much in the gaming realm in person, but hey, you know, whatever. I thought it was hilarious. I took it for its comedic value and here we are and now I'm telling the story about it. I mean, sure, I'm a girl gamer. Yes, I am a gamer and I am a girl. Okay, sure. I'm not really doing it for attention per se. I'm just doing it because I enjoy gaming, but hey, whatever you want to call me, I don't really care. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please be sure to leave a like down below. I'd really appreciate it. I could definitely do more story time videos with just the face cam if you guys want. Also, let me know if you like this uh, this angle because I have a nice fancy tripod and uh, it was kind of fun using it, not gonna lie. Anyways, like, comment, please subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. Bye bye I, re I, I really do want to know what... <laughs> Girl gamer, wow, you're a girl. Oh my gosh, did you know you were a girl? No, I had no idea I was a girl. Thank you for elaborating every seven words of every sentence you've been speaking to me. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I had no idea. Calling my sister a girl gamer too, that is the funniest thing ever. I so Y'all have to know my sister to know that she's not a girl gamer, but I swear it was the funniest thing ever. Okay, I'm gonna end the video now. Okay, bye. Bye.